Hey, everybody, we are live with uh, Dr. Matthew McNamee from the Tiger Medical Institute. He's our chief medical officer. And today we're going to talk about longevity. We're going to build on what I talked about on Wednesday, uh, where I said, where I talked about, and these were from Dr. Matt, the things that slow your progress down and work against longevity are poor nutrition, not moving, chronic stress, and poor sleep. Real basic fundamentals. And if you want to stack the odds in your favor, Dr. Matt said, pull out refined carbs, move, uh, move more, uh, improve your stress management techniques, and improve the quantity and quality of your sleep. Um, Dr. Matt, thank you uh, for being on today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Steve. Oh, you bet. And so the, the real question I want to talk about today, Dr. Matt, is um, beyond those fundamentals that we just talked about. If someone's really interested in stacking the odds in their favor, I mean, there's no clinical person in the world that should ever tell someone that they can guarantee them greater longevity. It's more about stacking the odds in their favor. What's a good first step? Um, is, it, is it some kind of testing? What, what, what would you say? I mean, just on a practical level, it's, it's, uh, a lot of it's not just like necessarily like a, a, a quick fix. How do I get there? It's, it's, are you doing the basics? Are you taking care of the fundamentals? Um, I mean, if you check the boxes on, you know, eating a, 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 a proper, you know, some sort of a, a, a healthy quote unquote kind of healthy eating plan for that individual, right? Everyone's got their unique eating plan, whatever that is. If they're, if they're, if they're moving every day, you know, um, they're, they're, they're sleeping, you know, well, and, and for an adequate amount of time and, uh, are taking care of stress and, 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 you know, just some of those basics and they have a, you know, a healthy weight, then, I mean, you can, you can delve in a little bit more to see, um, what essential areas everyone's different that they need assist with, assistance, yeah. you know, well, you know, Dr. Matt, I, uh, you know, you knew before when we first met, you found, I was, getting into biohacking in a big way. And one of the problems with that is, you know, you start to stack one thing after another, and you really don't know if they're helping you or not, because you really don't understand your body. And I think that's a, pro a big problem out there is people are trying to follow these different biohackers. And you always say, don't guess, test. Do you want to elaborate on that? Sure. I mean, I mean, there's, there's, there are some things that may work for some people and may not work for others. And all it has, I mean, it all kind of whittles down into their lifestyle, their environment, what they're, what they're, you know, exposed to and such, what their current biochemistry is doing coupled with their, their, their genetic backbone as well. And, and if you don't know those factors, you don't necessarily know how someone's going to respond to some sort of a, a therapy. Um, so one nutrition protocol may not work as well for the next person because of, um, you know, certain, certain genetic factors or their body composition, or, you know, there's all kinds of things that can play a role in that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and it's not a one size fits all approach for, for, for really optimizing any, any human necessarily. Um, no, it's actually a unique path, isn't it? Yeah. hundred percent. What kind of things do you like to test Matt when you're Dr. Matt, when you are, you know, building this baseline data set so that you can help someone find that unique pathway to elite health? Um, you know, when they're doing the foundational stuff, it's nice, you know, down the road um, at some point to look at, you know, any sort of uh, nutrient deficiencies, um, look at, you know, hormone imbalances, um, look at the, uh, uh, you know, essentially the, 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 the quality of their, their gastrointestinal, you know, function and, and, uh, and then look at the, the microbiome health inside the, the gastrointestinal tract. Um, you know, and then, and then uh, other factors, you know, just looking at some, some people have uh, um, autoimmune risk factors that can create inflammation and other, other kind of risks or you know, hidden factors for, for in, in inflammation in their body and such. So mm -hmm. It's, it's gathering some data initially in the beginning and then, you know, digging deeper if we need to, to base on each individual's, um, you know, kind of profile. Sure. And you also, you also look into their genetic print as well, right? I mean, what, what role does the genetics play in all of this? 
in terms of your clinical evaluation? Well, I mean, it depends on their history, but, you know, um, you know, there, there could be people, there are individuals that have a higher chances of like developing, let's say cardiovascular, uh, problems down the road, mm -hmm. uh, Alzheimer's disease, um, diabetes, insulin resistance, things like that, that go, go hand in hand with that. And then we can, we can either get ahead of the game of it or see specifically which, you know, maybe nutrient nutrition protocols would be best for them or, you know, what things we can do proactively to prevent that stuff from happening because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's only a, genes are only a small portion of, of, of really what, what actually ends up, you know, um, what all impacts the, the, the human physiology in the grand scheme of things. So Right. Your genetics aren't your destiny, are they necessarily? Not, no, they are not. They, they, they play a, a, a small piece of the, the overall uh, pie, if you will. If you get ahead of the game, though, that, that's the beauty of this. And I'll share it publicly here. My dad has uh, poor cardiovascular genetics, and I have some of those same ones. Um, and he's had multiple you know, bouts of challenges with that. And I haven't, and it's because my lifestyle is different. And I started working with you, Dr. Matt, and helped me get ahead of that. And so that's just one example of that. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, what I would say, you know, in wrapping this up, thank you, Dr. Matt, by the way, for sharing that. Um, I think the themes here are do the fundamentals well. Um, if you want to go further, you really need to partner with a clinical partner who can do the kind of root cause preventative medicine testing that is going to get you the data that you need. And you need to learn how to work with how your body's made, not against it. And that's the problem that I learned. I was doing things, biohacking things that really weren't going to ever work for me once I found out the truth, the hidden stuff. And uh, that's what Dr. Matt does for our patients. He finds those hidden health threats. He finds those things that you don't know or that are under the hood. Um, and as you say, Matt, you like to get to them when they're a yellow light instead of waiting until they're a red light. And so uh, if anyone's interested in learning more about this uh, and, you know, how you might uh, stack the odds in favor of you and get this unique pathway to kind of elite health and performance, just raise your hand, say you're interested, you want to know more, and we will reach out to you through direct message. Dr. Matt, thank you. Thank you, Steve.